This video is on bod mass and integers. Now, bod mass is the ordering of mathematical operations. So it's a recipe for how you approach a question that's got more than one operation in it. So B is the most important and it stands for brackets. Then O is orders. So that's like your square roots or your squared numbers or any power of a number. D is for division and M is for multiplication and you can see both of these sections are blue so they have equal importance. And finally we've got A for addition and S for subtraction. Again these sections are both yellow because they have equal importance. So in any mathematical calculation first of all you would do brackets then orders then divide and multiply and finally addition and subtraction. So the first thing you should do is underline which operation is first. So look at bod mass and decide which operation you want to do and you must show all steps of your working. Answers only aren't okay. So the first question is seven times two plus three. So you can see in this question, we've got a multiply and we've got an addition. And you can see that the multiply is more important than the addition. So it's the seven times two that we're going to underline because that's what we're going to do first. And that equals 14. And then we're going to remember that we still need to add on the three. And that means that we've got 14 plus three, which gives us a final answer of 17. Now in the next question, We've got nine take away five times four. We've got a subtraction and we've got a multiplication. Now, just because the multiplication is at the end doesn't mean that it isn't more important because the M comes before S. So we want to do the five times four first. So we've got nine take away 20. Now we're gonna do the subtraction, remembering that on our number line, we are going to start at nine and we're going to take away 20. So we're moving down the number line and we'll have to go through zero because 20 is bigger than nine. So nine of our jumps are going to take us to zero and we're then going to have 11 more jumps down our number line. So giving us a final answer of negative 11. So nine take away five times four is negative 11. The next question is negative 15 minus 10 in a bracket divided by five. So this time we've got brackets, which is the most important. We've got a divide because we're dividing by five. And then we've got a subtraction. Now, normally the subtraction would come last, but because it's inside the bracket, we do it first. So we're actually going to do the negative 15 take away 10 inside the bracket before we do the divide by five. So we know that negative 15 on our number line, we're gonna take away 10. So we're gonna get more negative. So we're moving down the number line. We're going 10 jumps down the number line. So it's going to be a negative and it's gonna be negative 25. So if we put that back into our calculation, it's negative 25 divided by five. Now we've got one negative, which is our negative 25, and a positive number, which is our five. So we know that our answer is going to be negative. And we're going to work out how many fives are in 25. So we can either know which number on our five times table 25 is, or we can draw some negative tiles and split them into groups of five. And you can see if we count up to 25, we're going to end up with five equal groups of negative tiles. So our answer is going to be negative five. In this example, we've got five plus negative six multiplied by negative 12. Again, we can see that we've got some brackets, so they're gonna be the most important. We've got a multiplication. We've also got an addition, but because the addition's inside the brackets, we are gonna do it first. So we're gonna underline 
the 5 plus negative 6 as the first calculation that we're going to do before we multiply. Now we're starting on 5. If we're adding a negative, we're going down the number line. We're going to have to go through 0 because 6 is bigger than 5. So 5 of our 6 jumps down the number line are negative 5. And we're going to have 1 left, which gives us negative 1. So 5 plus negative 6 is the same as 5 take away 6 is negative 1. And we're going to multiply that by negative 12. Now in this one, you can see we're multiplying two negative numbers. And we know from the rules that that means we're going to get a positive answer. And then we're just doing 1 times 12, which is 12. So it's positive 12. We can just write that as 12. Now the final example has a power. So we've got 7 squared minus 4 times negative 8. So you can see that the 7 squared is an order. So that's the O in bod mass. So that comes first. And then we've got a multiply. And at the moment we've got a subtract. Now we're going to do the squared first. Now remember that squaring a number means that we take the base number, which is 7, and the 2 tells us how many times we're going to multiply it. So 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49. It is not 7 times 2. So we're going to put that in, and we've got 49, take away 4, multiplied by negative 8. Now we're going to do the multiplying next, and we've got two negatives that we're multiplying together. So we know that when we're multiplying two negatives, we're going to end up with a positive answer. So it's going to change from being a subtraction to being an addition. So we've got 49 and we're going to add on 4 times 8, which is 32. And then we can use a number line or we can use any method to add those numbers together. So if we use the column method, we've got 49 plus 32. 9 plus 2 is 11, and 4 plus 3 is 7, plus the carried 1 is 8, so our answer is 81.